Radio Tezilo. Radio Tezilo. Radio Tezilo. Radio Tezilo. Radio check. Radio check. Zilo to radio, Zilo to radio, radio check. Zilo to radio, Zilo to radio, radio check. Hey guys, what's up? Arvin here. Today in this video, I am going to show you how I was able to make this uh, ground loop noise isolator as a crosslink to your Zillow application. Watch this video. Okay, so from my previous video, I showed you that I just recently received this ground loop noise isolator that is devised, this is designed to remove the hissing sound from your audio appliances. Okay, now based on my research, some of those, uh, some of the things that I found over the internet, that they were able to make use of this device as a cross link to your Zillow application to a two way radio. Okay? So, I've uh, just to make sure that I am the, actually the plan is to to make um, the easiest way and the cheapest way of connecting um, the Zillow application to a two way radio. So I purchased one a ground loop noise isolator, okay, um, stereo Y splitter, okay. So this plugs to your mobile phone. It's a 3.5 millimeter jack that splits the microphone and the earphone jacks just in case that you wish to use an external microphone and an external speaker, a speaker to your mobile phone. I also have um, two of this. This is a male to male 3.5 millimeter stereo jack, a uh, 2.5 millimeter uh, jack um, adapter. This connects to your the speaker of your two-way radio okay and then a mono plug I, unfortunately I don't have it with me right now okay so the plan is that to make a uh, or to DIY a cross-link device to your Zillow application the cheapest way and the easiest way possible so I, I got all this device have it connected as it's supposed to be connected but unfortunately it didn't work after several testing, I'm trying to after some I tried to um, reposition and then reconnect everything, making sure that all the wires are okay. There's no cuts or there's no um, there's no problem with the wires. Everything's just okay, but still it didn't work. I tried to use the mono plug to make sure that I'm using a mono instead of a stereo. Still it didn't work. So I tried to review the uh, pinouts of the two-way radio and then the two-way and then the pinouts also of the mobile phone. The, uh, the problem is with the two-way radio, it's only using some certain pins on the jack that activates the microphone um, and the microphone, the, the microphone in order for you to make the or to activate the box feature of the two-way radio. Okay, so because the uh, Activating the Vox, uh, uh, Vox feature of the Zillo is way much easier. It's very easy. So what happens is that I tried to cut all the wirings. Fortunately, okay. So I tried to cut, making sure that I have the right wires connected or coming out on the right pins. So you may be needing a uh, several tools to do this process. Number one, you need a soldering iron, all right, because you may need to do some soldering. You need a, a proper cutting tool or cutting uh, cut, wire cutter. Okay, you can so you use some scissors if you want. If you don't have one, but I I doubt you don't have a wire cutter. Okay, then a multimeter in order for you to test the continuity, that making sure that all the connections is okay. That's the most important tools that you have that you need to have with you. Okay, but you can also rig up some. Uh, you can also come up with something in how to check the continuity or the uh, making sure that all the wire wiring is connected properly okay so once you have everything connected you just need to follow the diagram I'm going to show it to you again and or here it is you need to 
is you need to make sure that all the pins and all the wires are connected properly in order for, for you to make this work. Now, okay, now once everything is connected, you may need to play around with the Vox uh, sensitivity on your mobile phone and on your, uh, your two-way radio. The, the more sensitive, the better, in my opinion. And um, that's it. It's way much simpler. It's way much quieter um, than the one that I made. Uh, it's way much more efficient. Well, you also need to make sure that the internet connection of your Zilla application is reliable. Because um, I tried using a, using a, um, the data that I have with me during that time. Uh, fortunately, we have a very weak uh, signal. So sending and receiving a uh, uh, from a two-way uh, from a Zillo application going to your two-way there is a there is a slight delay. Okay, even if you have a very good um, internet connection, there's still just a couple of seconds delay receiving from um, from your mobile phone going to your two-way radio or from your two-way radio going to your Zillo application there is a couple of seconds of delay uh, it's, it's it's tolerable it's up to you if you're you, if you don't hear the two-way radio or if you don't have a two-way radio you will not notice the delay okay if you let's say you're out there and uh, you're driving your car you're driving your motor you're driving a motorcycle your friend has a two-way radio connected to a Zillow application you will not notice the difference okay it is working this is way much e easier to make than uh, then uh, using or cutting a spare uh, if you have an earphone ja or earphone mobile phone earphone with you but you need to wait for this uh, device to arrive it in your package okay but if you plan to if you just simply wanted to make the easiest or this the easiest way of making well the reason why I mentioned this is the easiest way of making a, uh, a Zillow or Crosslink device for your Zillow application because um, if you have a, a spare earphone with you or a spare, a spare mobile earphone with you, you can make use of the earphone, speaker, and the microphone that's already there. Now, if you wanted something that will sound way much better, um, based on my testing, this sounds way much better than the speaker and the, than the device that I made, okay? and out of the three that I made, because number one is the one that I made is the, is the, the light emitting diode, um, trying to activate the, the photosensitive uh, resistor in order for it to make uh, the sound, to, to convert it into sound to your two-way radio, to your Zillow application. Sound, there's, uh, there's very much, there's way too much static, there's way too much delay, but it's working. Alpha Delta testing one two three. Alpha Delta testing one two three. Testing testing one two three. Radio check radio check. Then, my 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 device or my design is that I just simply place the speaker of the uh, mobile phone earphone jack or ear mobile phone earphone. To a very tiny speaker to activate the box of your Zillow. It is working, it is reliable, it's way much easier to make and it's very up, um, convenient because you already have it with you. If you have a soldering iron, if you have a wire cutting tool, you can make one already for yourself. All you have to do is just, um, just, cover, the, uh, just cover the device properly because the sound is leaking when, when, when you receive a uh, and you receive a message from a two-way radio because the speaker will actually need to do you need to crank it up in order for you to activate the box application or the box feature of the Zillow application okay Zillow to radio Zillow to radio radio check Zillow to radio Zillow to radio radio check it's working radio to Zillow radio to Zillow radio check and this you may need also to do some soldering and cutting just following the uh, diagram I showed you earlier this is going to work and this sounds way much better uh, out of those three now if I'm going to rank this the sound 
uh, for sound this this sounds way much better okay out of those three and then the second will be uh, the devices that I made and then the, uh, the LED one the one with the LED sounds terrible so this is way much better sounds way much better if you have time to wait uh, for the package you ordered it online you wait for this one this sounds way much better but if you don't have the budget right now and you want to cross link a Zillow application to a two-way radio having a spare earphone jack you can simply make one out of that spare earphone jack to, uh, to make a cross link device the easiest way the simplest way of making a cross link device to your Zillow application okay so there you have it uh huh, and uh, I was able to make one, and then in my opinion, this is way much cheaper. And I haven't uh, heard anything yet from Mr. Makisig uh, if he's going to send me a uh, sample of his uh, DVE Zillow application. Uh, it's up to him, okay? But my in my point of view, in my opinion, in my testing, and as you can see based on this uh, uh, on the videos that I've been showing you, it is working, and it's way much cheaper but you need to do some soldering and cutting but if you are not into if you're not into cutting or if you're not into soldering okay i would highly suggest to simply buy the dve zillow application or any crossing device that you can come up with if you really need it okay if you really need it in your work area or in your in your house or in your company or you plan to use it whatever you plan to use if you really need it simply buy one the, the buy one that's already been made now if you have plenty of time you have, uh, you have lots of patience okay just follow this the, the, the one that I made or uh, the one that I made okay so that's still up to you okay so I was able to create my own device and I was able to cross-link the Zillow application to a two-way radio okay so there you have it so it's up to you if you like this video Please don't forget to hit the like button and if you haven't subscribed yet to my channel please do consider subscribing I have quite a few videos as well that you may learn a thing or two and if you it's up to you but please also share this video to your friends perhaps who's using Zillow application okay so see you all in my next video